and welcome to another video. If you are new here, you probably clicked on this video for very apparent reasons. And if you are not new here, welcome back. You're probably wondering what is this? What is this weird thing she's doing? Well, welcome to my first keyboard build video. Whoa. So first of all, I got all my stuff from KBD fans apart from a few things that I'll mention later. So this is one of the things I got, which are the cherry stabilizers that came with the PCB. Uh, this is the PCB I use, which is the DZ60, a very popular PCB in the custom keyboard community. So this one specifically came with the USB-C type connected. For the plate, I chose a polycarbonate plate, actually. What, no aluminum? No brass? I just wanted a softer bottom out, so that's why I opted for a polycarb. Also, I think it would suit my case better. So important rule, don't be like Christopher Yee. Test your PCB before even attempting to solder anything in. Because you don't want to solder and then have a cheap desolder vacuum tool and it doesn't want to pick up the solder and you, you get a headache and you don't want all that. Let me tell you something though, I did have to resolder some switches because I put them in the wrong hole. Anyways, here I am just checking the stabilizers. Um, placing them in place to see so I don't misplace my switches. I still did, but hey, we all try to do our best. And they sometimes just don't work out. So here I'm just lubing the wires because you don't want rattly stabs. No one likes rattly stabs. Rattly stabs should not exist. Make this your mantra. Rattly stabs should not exist. The fun part. The switches, which could also be partly why you clicked on this video, because I am using Gateron Milky Black Tops. After binging hours and hours of keyboard videos, I've always wanted myself a set of Gateron inks, but they're too expensive, especially converted into my currency. So this is, I don't know, I guess they were like the next best thing, because I'm looking for that nice stock that isn't so expensive and yeah actually they came out pretty good so i opened up each of them using a screwdriver because i obviously do not have one of those fancy aluminum switch openers and i'm using the cult favorite i mean the community favorite crytox 205 grade zero i was gonna use super lube but angels just came to me and handed this to me and i was like Thank you. So here I am attempting to lube my first switch. Don't ask me how to do it. There are a ton of lubing tutorial videos on YouTube that help me personally. And eh, I don't know, maybe I'll link some in the description. Once I lubed all 68 switches from the layout I was going for, I snapped them all in place onto the plate uh, and into the PCB. Look at this, so pretty. I'm just gonna jump into soldering in the next clip, so I'll tell you a little story. Once upon a time, I had $200 in my bank account, converted into my currency, and now I don't. That's it. Warning, always solder in a well-ventilated area. You don't want all those fumes to be inhaled. I had my window open, but truth be told, I was inhaling a little bit, which is not healthy, especially being genetically high risk. But what's one board gonna do, huh? Everything. Everything. Nope. Do as you're told, not as I do. So this is the case. I got this off of Shopee, which is a one of those Chinese websites that is actually widely used locally in my country. And it costed me like, what, $10? Converted, it was 40 ringgit, which is so cheap, honestly. In my country, we say, murah gila. That means that's ridiculously cheap. Finally, after four hours of lubing and like two hours of soldering, we finally slid it into the case. But as you can see, I noticed that the PCB was actually kind of bent. And that was because of the LEDs that was interfering with the ribbing of the case. So I took my soldering iron and melted some divots into it and that solved the issue. I think the clear polycarb plate and the clear case looks pretty nice together. Now for the keycaps. Now don't bash me because I didn't get any GMK, no. I just got these cheap DSA keycaps off of KBD fans because it was the one that was accessible. 
and I don't have the means of spending $100 on a keycap set that would probably arrive in 6 months, so yeah. Finally, here's how it sounds. Alright, thank you for joining me on my first ever keyboard build. I hope you'll join me in the future if more are to come. It's truly been a really fun experience since joining this whole keyboard community and I just hope I'll be around for more of it. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you want, and yeah, see ya!